Rivers provide loads of photographic opportunities and the two kind of shots that I want to take are close-ups where we're seeing detail at the riverbank's edge and the second seeing the river as a whole I want to see the shape of it, the way it moves through the landscape. When I'm at a riverbank, I want to get really close to the water surface and what makes it much easier here is being able to rest the camera or the phone on a ledge or a stile in this case. This is providing a really nice natural support. It's allowing me to explore the composition, angling the phone left and right or up and down until I like what I see. Now, because I am close to the water surface, I can get the detail of whatever's on it, in this case, the algae. I've also got some fence posts here providing nice leading lines into the shot and because it's very bright behind them I'm shooting in black and white which allows these fence posts to become silhouetted. You get this additional drama here from the barbed wire. Not naturally a very attractive thing to see but here it gives it a bit more excitement in the image and it's really allowing these clouds to also look nice and fluffy. I've uh, put the horizon straight across the middle which allows me to get lots of sky in this shot because I want this to be a big landscape type photo and I'm just going to angle it up to make sure that I don't crop off the top of this nice fluffy cloud there. A little bit of elevation really helps when photographing a river. We're on top of a hill and looking down only from a little bit above but it's really allowing you to see the shape of that river as it enters into the landscape from the sea, zigzagging its way through the beach and onto the land, leaving various ponds and inlets in its wake. It's nice to see the shape of it, see the environment in which it exists rather than just always photographing close up from the river bank. In terms of the overall composition, I'll position the landscape in the lower third. I've used the grid lines as a guide. Remember, they call it the rule of thirds, but it's not a strict rule, it is just a guide. So I've got the landscape in the lower third of the frame, and then I've got the sky in the upper two thirds of the frame because it's a lovely blue sunny sky day today. I want to see those fluffy clouds in their full glory.